and welcome to my very first giveaway um, from TDL DIY. So what we're going to be giving away today is a Mastercraft Maximum 24 inch breaker bar. It is a half inch drive. This thing is fantastic just to improve your toolbox. Maybe you're just getting started out and you just need something to, uh, to get you started. This is a fantastic tool for the simple fact you can change your own tires in the summer or winter um, or just get stubborn nuts and bolts off. Whatever you choo choose to use it for, that's up to you. But this is my giveaway and I'll tell you how to enter right now. You're going to subscribe to my channel. You're going to leave a comment below in this video. And uh, I'm going to uh, put all those names in into a random generator uh, that I found on Google. and. Uh, what I'm going to do is put those names in, I'm going to hit generate, it's going to give me a random name and I'm going to contact you for your uh, shipping information and I'll ship this off to you. Thanks for watching my video, keep watching my channels or my videos on my channel and uh, good luck. This, this will start today and we'll go until about Friday or Saturday. So uh, good luck to you guys and uh, we'll do more giveaways uh, in the future. Thanks for watching. Welcome back to another video from TDL DIY. Uh, today we're going to be uh, taking a look at taking the front bumper off my wife's uh, 2013 Mazda 3. Well, uh, the reason why we're taking it off today is because she's at work. So uh, so she doesn't know. Uh, we'll get this done, put it back on before she even gets back. She won't know a thing. Um, but here, here's some of the tools that uh, you're going to need to uh, take this off. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver. Um, you're going to need um, a 10 mil socket, 8 mil socket. Um, I have the socket attachment for uh, my impact driver to make it a little quicker. Um, and also a Phillips head screwdriver, or uh, in this case, uh, I have it on my drill. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, I'm going to show you real quick uh, all, the, all the things that you're going to need to take off. Um, so just come down and we're going to be taking off one, two, three, four, five, six of, uh, we're just going to pry it open, pry it up with a flathead screwdriver, two Phillips screws on either side, and I'll just show you uh, in the wheel well what we're going to be doing here. So we got a one, two, three, um, again, we're just going to pry those up with a flathead screwdriver. Uh, you can either use a Phillips uh, screwdriver or 8 mil socket there. Uh, I'm going to use an 8 mil socket to uh, speed that up a little bit. Um, and then under the car, we're just going to show you real quick. All right. So under the car, we're going to have uh, eight, 8 mil sockets or uh, Phillips head screwdrivers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, maybe about nine of uh, the Phillips head ones. Look right here, or the eight mil, um, and probably two of these uh, ten mil. I believe it looks like. Yep. Um, so two of those, and then we're going to uh, lightly uh, pry it off. So uh, yeah, that's what uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to uh, start this process. Shouldn't take too long. Um, it's pretty quick, uh, pretty easy. Um, so yeah, we're going to get to it and uh, see you soon. Hey guys, we're going to get right at it. Um, so we're just going to stop, start by uh, popping these uh, ones up with the flathead screwdriver. Just put them in a safe spot. Just going to put them there for now and uh, we'll move them off after. So these can be a little tricky. Uh, again, you don't want to pry too hard and break them, so uh, just be careful.
So in case uh, you can't see, um, you just pop this top up enough and then you pop the top and uh, it should all, all these fins will close up and it should pop right out. Okay, that's the top done. And uh, we're going to move around to the wheel wheels here now. And Okay guys, we're going to start pulling off, uh, we're going to hear some snaps and pulls, kind of already got this side off a little bit, um, we're just going to slowly come, come across and pull it. As you can see, it's coming off very, very easy after we've got all those screws out, uh, just go to this side, you know, you'll hear it all snap and pull off, and, you know, that's pretty much it. Just be very careful, especially on the sides. You have to get your hand up under there a little bit, give it some assistance. You don't want to break these uh, these snaps and these clips. So um, yeah, pretty much off now. Uh, pretty much off now. Um, after I got that one, both sides off, and uh, probably be a lot easier two people, but one person can do it. So you're just going to have to be uh, careful, uh, you might have uh, some wires connected. Uh, I do have one clip over here which I'm going to uh, disconnect so I'm going to hold it up for just a quick second and uh, just get this. So that, that's it. Um, I'll just give you a quick uh, close up of the wire I disconnected. So on this side, uh, the passenger side, I just had this uh, wire here. Connected, it probably is just to uh, any collisions or anything like that. Uh, probably just a little sensor or something. Because um, I got no lights or anything. So that's that's what that is. Um, you may have that connected, just, just be mindful of it. Don't. And once you get the side clips off, this thing's going to want to fall off. So uh, yeah, two people is always better. But uh, look at how easy that was. That's very, very easy. Anybody can do it. Um, so maybe if you had a front end collision and you uh, picked up a bumper from a scrapyard that didn't have a front end collision, it was in good condition, or you found another bumper or bought a replacement bumper, I guess it's, it's really easy, guys. So uh, I thought I'd do a video to show you how easy it is and something that you guys can probably do at home. Um, hopefully this video, you like what you saw. Please give it a, a thumbs up. And uh, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that hit the bell. So uh, anytime I load up any new videos, you're gonna know right away.
Uh, again, thanks again so much for watching my videos. Uh, again, stay tuned, watch, keep watching what's going on, and uh, you can win some free stuff. So uh, thanks for watching.